Greetings, friends and enemies, and welcome back to Art by Flan. Today, we are doing some traditional art. I generally uh, didn't have an idea for a video this week, and uh, someone on my Twitter, well, it was uh, Airfax Tracona, who follows me on Twitter, was like, do some traditional art. So I did some traditional art. I apologize for the quality. Um, something is going on with my webcam, and I have no idea what it is. Maybe I wanged it too hard on something and broke it, or maybe I fudged up some settings somewhere. I don't know. Um, but I do know that the quality is not as A plus as it should be, uh, as I know it can be. So no idea. And it was just like stuttering and freezing a couple times. So if you see that in this video, I'm hoping the speeding where I sped up the footage will sort of work all that out. But otherwise, um, sorry about that. I'm working on it. I have no idea what's going on or why it's doing that. So give me some time and I'll get it sorted out for these traditional videos and like sketchbook tours and stuff. But in the meantime, you can enjoy some of me drawing. Uh, so I decided to leave the sketching part in for this and uh, it's probably the longest part of the video because I definitely don't include that often enough uh, in my video. So I figured since I'm just dinking around in my sketchbook, I will go ahead and throw that in. I didn't really have um, a set idea when I started this piece. Rarely do I ever and I really should work on that because things come out better when you have sort of a, a concept you want to go for. So it ended up just being fan art of uh, black lady from sailor moon because i've been watching the sailor moon musicals the ones in the past five or so years uh the anniversary ones and i just finished the uh, one for the second season which is the one where with chibiusa and black lady in it which is my favorite season of sailor moon season two is probably my favorite i just i love the whole concept of the time traveling and her being a future queen and all that i just it's easily one of my favorites and black lady is absolutely my absolute favorite villain how many times do i say absolute in that sentence we'll find out maybe i should be sponsored by absolute vodka do it no <laughs> but yeah so she's definitely my favorite villain and i love drawing her and uh so that's just what i ended up doing like i said just i haven't drawn in my sketchbook in a while i've been working on a pretty big uh, digital piece in my spare time so I haven't done a lot of sketchbooking which makes me nervous because my upcoming sketchbook tour I'm not gonna have nothing in there <laughs> uh, but I like I said I work out a pretty big digital piece and if you follow me on Instagram or come to any of my live streams this month you'll see what I've been working on but uh, I need to uh, take a break from that every once in a while and do something else like I said I, it's, I've been focusing on it pretty heavy and it's it's not stressing me out it's just there's a lot of it <laughs> so what I need to do is focus more on other things too because there's no I'm not gonna make a video out of that one I'm not there's no time limit on it it's just when I focus on a project I want to focus on it enough till it's done and with a big project like this I can't do that or it will literally eat up all of my free time and I will not be able to do anything for videos and stuff so um, we move past the sketching phase here to the inking phase I am using my favorite pilot pocket brush pen I know a lot of people tend to not like brush pens that have uh, like foam tips because you have like brush pens with real bristles and then you have brush pens with like foam tips but I prefer those I guess it feels like it gives me a bit more control uh, that I can work those thinner and thicker lines a bit better than I can with the brush and I don't have that problem of it li like that breakage in the line when you make like a big swoop like you do with the brush pen with a bristle pen um, and I don't have that issue here but I'm a little heavy handed with it because like I said, it's been a while since I've used it. It's been a while since I've done anything traditional or in my sketchbook. So that's sort of uh, why the lines are they're a little thicker than I wanted them to be. But by the time I finished, I was getting the hang of it again. And I'm so sorry about my big stupid head. <laughs> you can see my big stupid face. Try not to focus on it. One day I'll, one day I'll get better at this recording traditional videos, but whatever. And uh, we're moving on to color here. And normally you, I think most of the videos you've seen on my channel are uh, like, grayscale Copic markers or colored pencils. I think this is the first video I've done with my Spectrum Noir. Um, I own every of the Spectrum Noir bullet tip markers. Um, they're really affordable and I bought them all with like coupons and stuff. So I have a whole bunch of them. Uh, well, like I guess I have all of them. So this is the first time I've ever actually used them in a video, I think. And I'd recommend them. Like they're not, nothing's like it's so hard it's like oh well these are copic alternatives but nothing compares to a copic i guess but um, i like these well enough they work well enough with copics and uh, you'll see me use some of those as well in the video but the majority of, of the color 
the, the majority of the marker pieces you see on like Twitter and Instagram for me are done with these Spectrum Noir markers. So um, I really wanted, since I was doing Black Lady, I really wanted to make sure I got the palette for the pinks right because I really struggle. There's something about pinks in the Spectrum Noir. They're really, they really don't match what's on the caps. So I have to check my um, color sheet and I don't know I just have struggle I just struggle blending pinks a lot and I'm not 100% sure why oh here you can see me refill my Copic <laughs> my C5 was getting a little dry so I put some in there but um yeah I don't know what it is about pinks like I've I posted a picture on Instagram of when I did my character Coco and her hair is just so wrong even though I thought I picked the right colors I even looked at my chart and it just it wasn't right I don't know the thing about blending pinks with Spectrum Nora is just beyond me <laughs> So I'm moving on to her actual clothing and here I think from here on out you'll see me use mostly Copic markers because I use I have the grayscale set and I have a set of skin tones that I bought based on um, uh, Ardella Cart did a, a little video where she showed what marker she uses for all of her skin tones and that's sort of what I ended up buying and I really like it it gives me a really nice variety for skin tones and that's what I'd like to do I'd like to find different videos and different lists of markers that will give me the colors I want so I don't have to guess when I buy like I'd like to know what I could do what kind of range I could buy to get a variety of reds because I don't think Spectrum Noir has a very good red variety even with some of the ones they've released so I'd really like to know which ones to buy for that and just sort of buy them as I need them for colors I feel like are lacking and already in my marker collection do you know what I mean so pinks and reds those kind of things I'd like to buy in Copic but I, I don't know even where to start because there are so many and it's so easy to get overwhelmed <laughs> That's my problem. Like I get so overwhelmed because there are so many different choices and color combinations and I'm just like, well, what do I need? I don't know. Don't come. Don't ask me what I need. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just finishing up her skin tone here. Um, and it looks kind of weird, her shirt, because it's supposed to be like see-through. Uh, but I accidentally erased the lines for her arms and stuff. So I just sort of made it a really cool pink color. <laughs> here I am going in to add some more shading. I shaded, her, I shaded her skin tone and colored over it in pink. But I didn't much... Uh, care for how that wasn't wasn't dark enough so I went ahead and added some shading with a different different color and here I am just going in adding some things with my jelly roll and my uniball signal I don't know why I can't let go of jelly rolls uniball signal is the superior gel pin for me because it's really opaque uh, and you can see me even going over stuff in it but I don't know why I just refuse to let go of that jelly roll but I'm putting on some few finishing touches and we'll be shifting into the final piece here in a moment if you like what you see don't forget to click that like button and subscribe links to where you can support me are all in the description below and thanks to my patreon supporters Adrian Scribbles and Parzavale you guys rock and you rock for watching this video thanks so much Bye bye